There are 13,000 cabs in the streets of the Big Apple, but there's only one that pays you. Climb into the cash cab, and I'll quiz you all the way to your destination. As the meter clicks, the questions get harder, and the stakes get higher. If you get stumped, you can shout out for help on the phone. You're my mobile guy. Or off the street. Hey, sir, can I ask you a question? But be careful, because in the cash cab, it's three strikes, and you're out. Oh! oh. So what do you say? You in? What's going on, you guys? You're watching the thrift store rundown, bringing Hollywood home on a budget. When is the last time anyone yelled, Taxi! Taxi! In New York, and they walk in, and they expect lights to pop in, and sound effects and music, and host Ben Bailey to announce, You're in the cash cab! Never? Well, think again, because it just got renewed on Discovery, and its new season is currently airing right now. This is the Cash Cab Trivia Game, the game that puts you in the driver's seat. It's from Imagination Games, ages 8 and up for 2 for players. I got it for $2.49, I got it for 25% off. This box is taped up because it's already been played. So this is going to be my first foray into the Cash Cab Trivia Game, as it is yours if you've never purchased it. So, let's try and figure out a way to get this open. I love Cash Cab. I even go so far as to say that it's my favorite game show. Do we even need the scissors here? Is this going to be easy to open? What I love so much about Cash Cab is the format itself. It's a game show that takes place in New York Cab. This should be fairly easy to open. It's a little less nerve-wracking than having to answer trivia questions in front of a live audience. <clears throat> Jeopardy, ahem. <clears throat> now, mind you, I like Jeopardy, but Cash Cab is definitely head over heels above the West. Now, I'm trying to open this box. That's one side. Now, let's get the other. Take the ride of your life in the Cash Cab. This show has been awarded six Emmys. Three for the show itself, three for the host, Ben Bailey. Looks like we might need the scissors here after all. So, let's open this up and see what we have. The game board, which resembles the island of Manhattan. Plus instructions, which are actually printed right on the inside of the box. You have your question cards, your strike cards, if you get an answer one, and your destination cards. Holding one of each so you can see them. Strike, destination, and question. This is your question card. Making your voice higher than when you inhale it, what element is used to keep balloons floating? The answer is helium! And no, I don't have helium right now. That's just an impersonation. That's for one hundred dollars. For two hundred, favored by John Madden at Thanksgiving. What this is made by stuffing the duck and chick and chicken into a turkey. To duck in. If you stop at a red light on Cash Cab, you're more than willing to get a red light challenge. Name six of the twelve signs of the zodiac. And here they are. I'm not a horoscope person by any means, but. That should be pretty fun. This is the destination card. For example, here we have the Flatiron Building. So I guess I know what kind of steak they serve in the Flatiron Building. And this is a strike if you get an answer one. If you get three strikes, you are ejected outright from the cash cab. No second chance. The player guide is listed right inside the box. Setting up the game, playing it, red light challenges, shout outs. Strike cards, when you reach your destination. Pocketed cash, cash you can see right here. We have 50s, we have $100 bills. 
By the way, it's all fake money. If you want to play for real money, you're going to have to be on Cash Cab, when you least expect it. This is one neat trivia game. Although you're not actually in a real cab, it's kind of nice knowing that you have that ambience while you're playing it. And maybe you can watch Cash Cab and play along too. That's what I do. Here are the Cash Cab Quick Rules. Place your cab mover on any landmark. Start each journey with $50 and a destination card. Roll the die to move around the board. The die is right here. Answer Cash Cab questions correctly to collect cash. Answer incorrectly, you collect a strike and your turn ends. Collect three strike cards and you are ejected from the cash cab. If you correctly answer a red light challenge, you win $250. If you fail, you don't get a strike, but you don't get the money. You reach your destination and choose to answer a double, double or nothing question, or you can pocket your cash. The first player to pocket $1,000 is the winner. Ben Bailey is a terrific host. This is such a terrific game show. And I'm so thrilled that it's back on Discovery. I used to watch it all the time when it came on Discovery. I'm weary to watch it a bit again because I'm weary. Really, I'm weary. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm weary when it comes to reboots of television shows that I grew up with as a kid. Cash Cab is no exception. But hopefully I can give it a shot online and see if it still holds up today as it did back then. I mean, the show has won six Emmy Awards, so... And it, it defeated Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, the OGs of game shows in game and audience participation programming. So, it has to have set a strong example on unique game show play. Don't mind me, I'm just putting all this back in. It's a mess to have to put everything back in. This thing was already a bit messy to begin with. I'm not gonna waste any of your time. I'll be back. Let's take a look at the game board, which again resembles the island of Manhattan, Columbus Circle, Plaza Hotel, the Queensboro Bridge, the Chrysler Building, Rockefeller Center, the headquarters of the National Broadcasting Company, NBC, hence the name 30 Rock, DeWitt Clinton Park, Grand Central Station, Times Square, Madison Square Garden, we actually have a book on Madison Square Garden, Empire State Building, Chelsea Piers, the Flatiron Building, which I've already mentioned, Washington Square Park, the East Village, Soho, Little Italy, Chinatown, Chinatown, excuse me, City Hall, the Brooklyn Bridge, Wall Street, and Battery Park. Which reminds me, I need to find a product related to Wall Street Week with Louis Rukeyser. That's a cool show. And all these red light icons here signal a red light challenge. In fact, take a look at the cast cab icons right over here. Destination landmark, red light challenge, and a cast cab question. A cool game board. A real cool game. Get ready to hit the streets in this fun-filled traveling trivia game that takes you all over Manhattan in a madcap dash for cash. Challenge your family and friends as you move from landmark to landmark, answering questions and picking up money as you go. Just like the TV show, if you get three strikes, you are ejected from the cash cab empty-handed. There's red light and double or nothing challenges to add a few tricky twists and turns. Or you can pick up a bonus shout out to keep you moving along the way. So jump on board, buckle up, and put your brain in the gear. This includes the game board, the die, wools, the cash cap money, four cash cap movers, 
190 question cards, and these are the movers, by the way, that resemble little New York taxis. 21 destination cards, and 9 strike cards. I will take inventory later on to see if everything is included in this box, as indicated. But Cash Cab is truly my favorite game show, and I can't wait to play with friends and family. So, for Cash Cab, the trivia game... Four and a half out of five claps. I'll take inventory later on and see if everything's accounted for, and then I may give it the full five. But in the meantime, buckle up, because you're in for one wild ride with the Cash Cab trivia game. Let me know in the comments if you've seen the Cash Cab reboot, and if it's as any good as the previous installment. And thanks as always for watching the Thrift Store on Down Breeding Hollywood and the New York Home on a Budget. The best of both coasts. The best of East and West, I should say. And remember to buckle up.